This week we want to look at predictions. We've already gone through the first match day one of World Cup 2022 and we've seen some upsets. Argentina fans hold back the tears. Germany fans hold back the tears. Senegal, not an upset, but you know, hold back the tears, you guys. I know that's got to hurt. So yeah, it's been a good week of matches thus far, you don't know. Group A, I see Netherlands going through. You know, it's interesting how it may play out when you think about it. We have Ecuador, Senegal and Qatar. I don't think Qatar is going to beat Senegal. And I don't know, the, the Ecuador-Netherlands match, there could be a surprise there. Ecuador is coming to fight. A lot of these Euro European teams it looks like they come with this expectation that these lesser teams just gonna roll over so Netherlands may have the experience and the quality but if we saw the Senegal match that match was nil all for most of the game you know and yeah it, it could be a toss up but I'm gonna say Netherlands still and I'm probably let's give it to Ecuador Senegal Qatar I don't exactly know how the points are gonna split with that it may be a goal difference thing with Ecuador and Senegal I feel like there might be a draw in there with Ecuador and Netherlands maybe let's leave it like that for now then we got England's group yeah they're definitely going through I know they have USA tomorrow at the time I'm recording this um then there's Wales as well I mean England is England still it wouldn't surprise me them playing Wales it turns into like a stalemate or Wales even managed to clip something but I still think England is gonna have enough to go through I don't see Wales really coming out of this group neither do i see iran and that's kind of that's kind of a strange one because usa isn't really known for stellar performances in the world cup i know it's a young group they drew their first match with wales so really and truly their next biggest competition is going to be england i expect them to beat iran it, it won't be an easy one but i expect them to that's how i see it england usa going through from that group now in argentina's group argentina lost their first match to saudi arabia so i don't know that kind of that kind of sticky because when you lose your first match you know it's it's interesting but when i check the history between argentina and mexico argentina has won most of their their matchups with mexico the last time mexico won is probably almost 10 years ago if not more than 10 years ago so even though mexico has a very good record in the world cup of making it through to the second round and i'm feeling like picking this with with the upset being argentina not making it through it's interesting i, I don't expect so they were able to give much more trouble after that first match i think there would definitely be a surprise if they were to nick another win but i don't see them be i think mexico is going to find a way through they've been doing it for so long so there is that experience in that team so i'm gonna hedge my bets and say that even though they drew the first match i think mexico is gonna come out on top of that group it's not right to bet against argentina or messi but that argentina poland game is gonna be crucial and it's gonna be crucial not just for argentina wow but argentina actually plays mexico before so you see it sets up it sets up an interesting thing i'm gonna say poland then argentina but it's it's very possible we might see argentina actually going through and 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 quite possibly Mexico not making it but I believe I believe in my CONCACAF brothers you know Mexico is gonna pull through I don't think I think Argentina is gonna butt the toe somewhere along the line the next group is pretty straightforward I think it's definitely gonna be France I don't see Australia coming out of this so I'm gonna go with the European powers for this one I'd probably say Australia then Tunisia now group E coming off of Spain and Germany's first match it's quite quite informative Spain looks Spain looks ready it's Croatia but I mean if if they perform anything like they did against Croatia that match with Japan it could split hairs and in all honesty Germany didn't really do so wasn't so hot in Euros last year so I, I'm, I'm not really convinced by Germany so I'm gonna go with Spain and I'm gonna bank on Japan and then let's say Germany Croatia after that but but let's just see before we move on what's the I say Spain versus Germany and let's look at the history History between those the history between those two teams you know or the record so 
Germany has won most of the games against Spain. They've had eight draws. So Germany has won nine times versus Spain. They've drawn eight and they've lost eight. So there's a slight edge. Germany lost to Spain not too long ago, actually. They lost six love. Let me check but No, sorry. That was in 2020. UEFA Nations League. Spain defeated Germany on the 17th of November. Before that, they drew with Germany 1-1. And that's in 2020 September. Then in March 2018, they drew. So the last time Germany won against Spain was in 2014. That sounds like World Cup year, but it wasn't during the World Cup. And actually, Spain defeated Germany in the 2010 World Cup, actually. So, like I said, I'm definitely going with Spain. I, I think Germany is going to struggle again this year. Group F, we have Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. I know many might be thinking Croatia is going to go through. I wouldn't be mad at them for thinking that, but these are going to be some bold predictions right now and i mean belgium isn't really bold but i mean you know the giants are gonna find a way to come through and i think belgium is gonna pull through they won their first game against canada croatia and morocco dried so canada is gonna need to beat morocco and croatia um canada is like kind of a young team i think it's really gonna come down to what happens with croatia and belgium i think canada can beat morocco but morocco could possibly beat canada as well i mean What's the, what's the index rating on these guys? Let's see how Canada stacks up against Morocco. Morocco. Could be here butchering fellow Africans' names, country names, for no good reason. Yeah, so Morocco is ranked 22. They're pretty high up. And Canada is 41. So, um, you know, Croatia is ranked 12. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to have to lean. I'm going to have to lean and say that Croatia... You know, the honest thing is I don't see Croatia really beating Canada. I mean, Canada was balling against Belgium and Belgium narrowly came away with that one. I'm I'm still going to go with Canada. I think Croatia is going to have a, a very downturn in form compared to 2018. Now for Group G, sorry, Brazil straight away and then Switzerland, Serbia, Cameroon, Portugal's group. Ah, I mean, even though Ghana lost, Ghana put in a very good performance today and it, it kind of showed that Portugal is not so solid defensively if if they're under pressure they will make mistakes and uruguay could pounce on that korea could potentially pounce on that um but uruguay korea had a draw do i see any more draws coming i don't i don't think that any team ghana is gonna play they're gonna end up much in a draw they also have some some concentration issues you know so there's gonna be goals in that game and i think they're gonna score as well it might just be can they shoot can they win in the shootout they're gonna want blood against uruguay but right now as it's trending portugal is looking like they're gonna pull it through it's very possible that if uruguay loses to ghana that korea would need to win against portugal or against ghana is that gonna happen i wouldn't be surprised if ghana and korea drew you know love it man we're gonna go with ghana uruguay korea so we're in round of 16 now so we're gonna have netherlands going up against usa and for that one love it man I think the Netherlands are going to really be able to pull off that one. It might be a slender one, love, you know. Mexico, Denmark. This is like the battle of two good keepers, but Ochoa is like Super Saiyan God mode or something. Hmm. This might, this is a match that could even go extra time, you know. Penalties, possibly. I'm going to go with Mexico. I don't know what score I would pick. I think Spain has enough to beat Canada. So that's the next one. Spain, Canada. Based on how I predicted the, the teams from the group. So we would have Spain, then Canada. And I'm going to say Canada. I mean Spain, sorry. I'm going to say Spain is gonna would win that matchup. And I would probably say Spain. I'd probably say two love. I, I think Spain could beat Canada two love. So I'm going with Spain for that one. Brazil, Ghana, Rona 16. Ah, sorry Ghana. I'm going to have to go with Brazil for this one. And I'm going to say Brazil is going to win that one too, love, as well. So we have England, Ecuador. And I believe England is going to win that one. But I'm going to say they're going to win it one, love. You know, what they did against Iran is, is really spectacular. But I, I don't know if we're going to keep seeing that as they progress through through the competition. France, Poland. I definitely see France winning this one. Poland doesn't have enough in them to really go very far. 
And this could be a big match. So I'm going to say probably 3-1. Maybe Lewandowski gets a consolation in that one. Belgium, Japan. I'm going to say Japan is going to win this one. It might be 2-1. Then we have Portugal, Switzerland. I'm going to say Portugal for this one, guys. Probably another 2-1. All right, boom. So we're at the, we're at the quarterfinals now. Based on how we picked, we'd have Netherlands, Mexico. We have Spain, Brazil on one side. We have England, France on the other. Japan, Portugal. Portugal and the other so Netherlands Mexico yo those are some boring teams though you know tell us a them when they make it that far Netherlands so I'm gonna say Netherlands I'm I mean no brain I'm gonna go with Brazil versus Spain I'm gonna take Brazil that might be one love actually same thing with the Netherlands Mexico match I think as we go further in the competition it might be low scoring England France I'm definitely going with France for this one I'm gonna say this one might be it's the France games they might get a bit open because France has that high powered offense a lot may say England as well but I don't think England has the midfield you know well you have Jude Bellingham in there my apologies he's been balling out I mean it's only been one game but he's been balling even at club level in Champions League so I, I must say this one is is too love Japan Portugal you know we may see Portugal edging this one out again I'm gonna say one love and then Brazil Netherlands Netherlands, gonna go with Brazil. France, Portugal, gonna go with France. Which leaves Brazil, France for, oh my god, this is a repeat of 1998. And do we remember what happened in 1998? This World Cup was played in France. And France won. Yeah. Don't forget that. France won that World Cup with Zidane, with Thierry Henry on the bench. Yeah. Okay. That match ended three love, guys. Can you imagine? Yo, on that Brazil side, you know. Like, first of all, first of all, the goal scorers were Zidane. 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 I can't even say. Zidane Emmanuel Petit. Those are the goal scorers. Zidane had a brace. Right? Let's see if this gives us a lineup for that for that Brazilian team. Just so you understand the devastation. Yeah? Yeah, the Roberto Carlos. Ronaldo. That's R9. The original. Cafu. Rivaldo. Dunga. Denilson. I can't I can't even pronounce some of these names, bro. Right? Leonardo. Y'all figure out his last name. Junior. These are their first. First names Edmundo, Cesar, Bebito, Claudio, Bridgen. What the man them did that do? Make the man them make France box them down so eh? But France side was no joke still in you know, a Desai got the red card. Patrick Vieira, Thuram, Lebo. Why am I even trying to say these names? And the coach for France now was on the team then he was their captain this champs, did yeah. And just a pre you know. So hello man like me should I know them man they still but them name they f not familiar but you see the name them I know them man they on the bench so Thierry Henry bench Robert Perez bench as a, as a matter of fact Patrick Vieira was actually on the bench he came off the bench in the game David Terzeguet was on the bench so them man their names are we know granted this a 98 them man they start really build them name after that but you understand what I say I mean if my predictions are worth anything because take me as a casual football fan i love the game and we're just looking at it and saying brazil france bam i'm gonna go with france you know what i'm saying yeah i'm definitely gonna go with france i think that would definitely be the outcome for this one i'd probably say three two for this final these two teams are are high powered so i'm gonna say brazil wins out three two everybody's gonna leave it all out on the plate but interestingly in 98 that's 24 years from this world cup and i had mentioned it on a previous video i did where i said the bleachers report was saying 24 seems to be the lucky number for world cup winners so germany who won in 2014 the last time they won was 1990 that's 24 years italy same 24 years minus from 06 was the last time they won brazil same 24 years from 2002 was the last time they won before that so when i was looking at it i was saying ah Brazil won 0 2. 24 years would be 2026. But then I was saying, ah, France won in 2018, which would have been 20 years since 1998. But if France makes it through 
to the next round, which is what I had predicted. For all intents and purposes, they look like they're going to beat that curse. Then could it be that they could be another nation along with Italy and Brazil to win consecutive World Cups? Oh, that would definitely be something. I mean, I was on 538 and I looked at their current. It's a t it's basically it's a table giving the percentages probability of these different teams making it or winning the world cup so when you look at it we have brazil brazil has a 37 percent chance of making it to the final spain has a 24 percent france has 22 percent netherlands 15 portugal 15 england 16 argentina 9 percent now that's to make it to the final and if we just do a quick flashback so in my for my semi-finals i have netherlands brazil i have france portugal so right away i have one two three four out of the top five that they have right now based on the current point standings projection to make it to the final no they have a column that speaks to who would win the world cup so we have brazil 25 percent spain 15 percent france 11 percent netherlands 7 percent portugal 7 percent england 7 percent so england would be like the sixth team argentina 5 argentina is a 7 as you can see based on this my projections aren't really that off they're pretty close just out of curiosity i wanted to see how they project the group stages so they have Japan with 53% come second. And I had, Jap I had Japan as second. So that sounds, sounds like I'm somewhere there. Belgium, 54% to come first. So pretty much my, I, I would say that I'm not that far off of my projection. Because see, I didn't pick Senegal to make it anywhere. Senegal has a 24% chance. USA has a 34%. But see, this is where it gets interesting now. So I had Mexico and Poland and they both have equal chances to come second in the group um mexico poland it's 20 to 16 percent chance relative to come first but argentina has a 24 percent chance so you see that group guys it's it's really close and even with that argentina has a 31 percent chance to come second so argentina has a better chance to come first or second compared to mexico or poland right but to come first argentina only has four Four percent over Mexico. It's all going to come down to that Mexico Argentina game. If it turns out to be a draw, crazy. Actually, right now they have Saudi Arabia leading the odds to come first and to come second and so you can clearly see that winning your first match in the group weighs it has a heavy weighting on your potential to go through heavy heavy weighting and that's that's the importance of winning a first game it gets really tricky when you don't win that first game so i don't know guys let me know what you think about my predictions let me know who you think is gonna make it through i know we have a lot of brazil haters probably a lot of french haters i ain't mad at that one um but let me know who you think is gonna make it through the group stages who's your dark horse who you think is gonna make it all the way to the top is it a popular pick is one of the powerhouses or is it someone that's gonna make their way through with the second set of matches to start tomorrow at the time of this recording by middle of next week we're definitely gonna know tuesday wednesday we're definitely gonna see it shaping up much much clearer with only three games for each team so this second match is going to be pivotal for those teams that either drew or lost their first game. Until then, peace.